What's up everybody? It is the Home Ec Guy here today. We are in my car outside a customer's house. I've been to this house before. I'm kind of just checking to make sure it's going on. She has an extra inverter in here in case her inverter is bad. Something about water being in the inverter. When I was here before, I was checking to make sure it was ready to pass inspection and taking videos for that. Usually when I do that, I make sure a system's working. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm back here again. Um, so let's go take a look. I'm going to go take a look and see what's up. I let the customer know I'm here and uh, we'll let her know what I find. So when I'm working, walking up to a site, first thing I do, regardless of what my notes are, regardless of what anybody tells me about it, is I turn it on and try and get it working. First off, this site has monitoring, so we should have never turned off AC to this because with AC we can tell, uh, we can turn off. What is that? Something scared the shit out of me there. Um, let's turn this on, see what happens. All right, so first thing I did was I turned on my AC disconnect. Then that shows up that I'm getting lights over here. I have my DC disconnect off right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up our app that lets me get in here. See, I got my phone here. We're gonna open up the mat app, scan our QR code here. Once I do that, I don't drop my phone. I hit this for a second, I'll go like this, and now we should start connecting to my phone here. Okay, it is Wi-Fi connected. Let's go, what's up? Let's see if it needs to update its firmware. I'm sure it does because, wow, SolarEdge usually has to. Device is activated. All right, let's see what our status is. Our system is off. There are 18 panels, that's right. Monitoring, it's connecting to that. Switch is on, it's in night mode, that's right. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn this system on like this. All right, so it's the last 10 seconds here on this guy. Five, it's found 16 of the 18. One thing I did was look for errors at the error log when I was on there. And if you heard that click, that's my signal that it just turned on and started working. Now we should start seeing production up, 218 watts. Not a whole lot of production, but it's an extremely cloudy day right now. Um, 16 of 18 communicating. That's, we'll watch that to make sure that goes to 18. Switch is on. Cellular connection's okay. Isolation's 11,000 kilo ohms. That's right. Sprint connection, all good there. All right, so let me get rid of that. Get rid of there. Let's go to information, error logs, one controller, no errors. That's all good news. So the only thing that I can tell wrong with this system is that it was off. I hate having these conversations with customers. The reason this whole thing started was because the customer felt that her electric bill was still way too high after getting solar. And so when I turned the system on, everything turned on, everything worked. She has 18 panels. It's not a huge house, but that's a tiny system. Not only that, her panels are facing directly north. What salesperson sells panels that face directly north? Listen, homeowners, a salesperson will never, ever, ever tell you that you're not a good fit for solar, but you might not be a good fit for solar. That's just the truth. If they try to sell you panels that are gonna face north, I don't care how much sunlight you think you get, don't do it. This makes me so mad. It really does. This drives me nuts that I have to come, and I'm the one that has to sit face to face with these customers and tell them that, oh, you know, listen, your, your salesperson, he sold you a Lamborghini, and then the system that got installed was a busted Honda Civic. It's a working Honda Civic. It's just the Honda Civic and not the Lamborghini you were sold. And... Homeowners, you need to inform yourselves a lot more before buying solar. Don't just blindly believe these salespeople. It breaks my heart. 
you know, I love solar. I think it's a great opportunity for a lot of people. I think there's a huge future in it. But these salespeople go out here and sell people north-facing solar panels that are going to produce nowhere near what they're supposed to, leaving the customer with a giant bill and, and no recourse, really. It, it's a shame. It needs to stop. So that's my rant for the day. I'm going home. It's raining or it's going to be raining and it's just gloomy day now. I was hoping that I actually had to fix a problem instead of explain lousy salesmen to customers and homeowners.